2K Sports pregame show. Hello, basketball fans. I'm Ernie Johnson, welcoming you to 2K Sports. I'm here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Tonight, we'll see the Los Angeles Lakers playing against the Rockets in Houston. Looking at Houston, no question. They've got this game penciled in as a win, but they still have to go out and make plays. They'll look to grab an early lead and get this one over with early. And Luke Walton, the 26th head coach in Lakers franchise history, he said it was his dream job. It's the team that drafted him and where he won his titles. Guys, do you like the hire? Well, I mean, he showed as an interim coach with the Warriors that he could get the job done. They started out earning 24-0 when he was a Warrior coach. He broke the NBA record. So how in the world would you not get it? You went 39-4 and overall. So you set the stage for what the best record in the NBA history ever had. Well, I know Luke very well. He was my rookie. He used to carry my bags. Uh, he's worked with coaches like the great Phil Jackson, Steve Kerr. What I like about him is he has the right disposition. Very laid back. And I think the young players speak his language. Were you, uh, were you tough on him when he was your rookie? I sure was. What's the worst thing you made him do? Go to Krispy Kreme and get me some donuts. What was that, like 18 times a day? That would be correct. <laughs> Time for tip off. More donuts, please. Let's send it to Kevin. Glaze. But I just got back with these. Glaze. I want more. Happy New Year's Eve. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports for the NBA. We're all dressed up and ready to go. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. A battle in the Western Conference. This Houston crowd hoping to watch their Rockets come out on top. Last time they met was right here, and they came out with a win. And now we'll see who gets the advantage after they tied at one apiece. And it really was a difficult game for them in that previous Ready? matchup. Fortunately, they were able to just knock down their free throws down the stretch. And Greg, we've talked about it so many times. Free throw is such a big part of the recipe for winning. I mean, that can be the difference. Nobody's guarding you. Um, it's just you and your routine and the rim. And they got the job done at the line. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Ball runs point with Contavious Caldwell Pope to his side. There, the backcourt. Then there's Harrison Barnes. Then it's Bogut. And it's Kuzma in at the four. 
You know, Kevin, when you think of what a stretch four looks like, one of the first guys that comes to my mind is Ryan Anderson. An excellent shooting touch. And his shot looks like a smaller guy's shot with the mechanics being so perfect. He's been making threes from the very start of his NBA career. And it's ball in the corner. Pass to Kuzma. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look, and the three ball is good. Caldwell Pope's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Kicks it to Ariza. Ball left side. Shoots over ball. The Rockets again can't hit. You just make the assumption that's going down. I mean, an uncontested mid-range jumper, I think he should have buried it, but you know what? He didn't. It happens. Now, here's Ball. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. Just five to shoot. Nice teamwork to set up the pick play and make the space for the Jay. Kevin, the thing I like most about Ball is his awareness, his self-assuredness and understanding and feel. I mean, when he gets a pick, he's super dangerous. Good job putting the pass in front of him, throwing it where he's supposed to be, not where he is, paving the way right to the bucket. Caldwell Pope outside. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Back to Barnes. Out to the right wing, Kuzma. Off target from three-point range. Last game for the Rockets, they picked up the win against the Washington Wizards. And always tough on the road, but that attack mindset that they brought offensively, I really felt like that set them apart. And what stood out to me, Greg, was the aggressiveness. I mean, it seemed like they just were eager to get it done, wanted it a tad more than the other team. Rockets trail by three, and let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, I was able to talk with Mike D'Antoni for just a minute. This season series is tied at one. He said the things that make this such a compelling matchup for the fans are the strategic elements and, of course, the big plays. But he also said we're facing a team that really knows how to execute on offense. You just don't see much sloppiness. A real tactical battle shaping up tonight, Kevin. Great job, David. So they know how dangerous this team can be if they get on a roll. And that means contesting every single shot. It's going to take a lot of effort on D, but they can't give up those easy baskets. Without question, you're right on top of it, Greg, because if you do allow this team to get rolling and get into a groove, you can forget about slowing them down. And that's good stuff from him. Nice touch. Here's Harden. He doesn't hit that one. Nice D from Bogut. Lakers leading by four. Passes the ball. Feeds it to Barnes. Bogut with a screen on Ariza. Here's Barnes. Got a piece of it. And Ariza works his butt off on defense. I mean, whether he's down low or on the perimeter, he knows how to block shots. Nene, the screen. Reza dishes to Nene. Good D by Barnes. Well executed. Great rhythm. You've got to finish that one. Agree with you there, partner, because that screen really freed him up nicely, and that's a shot that if you're a pro, you need to make that one. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. It's on Nene. A player who measures his impact, Greg, on the game at the defensive end, the seven-footer, Andrew Bogut. Yeah, and it's interesting. He said he was a horrible defender at the University of Utah. Soaked up the game from the great defenders in the NBA. Learning defensive three seconds, when to go, when not to. He's a master now. He misses the free throw. Clark, I'm certain for coaches and for players too, but certainly for the coach because he's got to moderate this, how he tries to keep his players focused every night in every game in the NBA. It's such a long season. Yeah, it really is a long season, and you have to sprinkle and not spray if you're a coach. By that, I mean you can't use all of your material too early in terms of motivating. But the other thing is you need not be motivating your players all the time if you're a coach. 
That's something that pro players should be doing themselves. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now, here's Ball. The feed to Bogut. Pass to Kuzma. There's a good screen. Here's Caldwell Pope. And that one is stuffed right through. And sweet drive there. KCP, a smooth operator with terrific straight line speed. Harden with it. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. Anderson the screen. And Harden wide open. He shoots. Connects from three-point range. Harden's got his first three points of the game. Los Angeles leading by three. Screen by Bogut. Ball kicks to Barnes. He dishes it to Ball. He feeds it to Caldwell Pope. From downtown. No good that time. And Houston the other way now. And here is Paul. Coming off a solid outing against Washington. Reza passes to Paul. Nene, the screen. Paul, left side. Back to Reza. Jacks up a three. Kuzma pulls it in. Lakers have gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. And here's Barnes for three. Paul grabs the board. Allowing no space for the shooter to get comfortable. Just terrific defense. Yeah, excellent extension on the block. Superb timing as well to slot that one away. Now, here's Ball. Defended by Paul. Kuzma passes to Caldwell Pope. Screened by Bogut. Let's a floater go. And here we go. Harden heading to the hoop. Drops in the breakaway layup. Harden's got five. Boy, that was a masterful read from the talented Harden. I mean, he's at his best when he's attacking in the open court. Nobody better. Now, here's Ball. Ball sets a screen for Barnes. And the pass to Ball. This is to Bogut. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. They need this. Not enough on that one as it misses. Houston's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Caldwell Pope against Harden. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Well, across the board last season, James Harden, Greg, saw his numbers jump through the roof, but he showed improvement both in his defensive engagement as well as his rebounding. Not something that a lot of us saw coming. Yeah, that's a good point. And with Harden, I think the rebounding is the really surprising number. Went from being an average rebounding guard to a great one the last few seasons. He's been showing more of a dedication to all aspects of the game. The first one falls. James Harden is clearly an MVP caliber talent. No doubt about that. A triple-double threat who really is a stat sheet stuffer supreme. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Blacks checked in for Nene. And Bahamute comes in for Ryan Anderson. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Trevor Ariza. And Eric Gordon subbed in for Paul. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And you know about Harden shooting and his ability to get to the line and all that, but... You know, Clark, what some people don't realize is just how fast he's going end to end. I mean, he can just blow by players in the open floor. Yeah, he's got deceptive speed, Kevin. And part of that is how he's worked to change his body from his college days at Arizona State to who he is in the NBA. He slimmed down a bit, but he still has that strength and that barrel chestedness that allows him to play so well through contact. But you're right. His speed is lethal and deceptive. Lakers shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And I think this is a strength of this team. Solid numbers at the line across the board, 77% collectively. And comparing to the numbers of last season, they've made a bit of improvement. So that's some positive momentum they can look to build on. The 
first free throw is good. And Clark, as you watch the game at both the college and pro levels over the years, what has been the biggest change for you in your view of that? Well, you know what, Kevin? There are a couple of things. The athleticism, the real emphasis on training and strengthening the core, meaning from your kneecaps to your sternum. The work that's done to train the hamstrings and quads and glutes and that core area as a place of power, as your center of power, is one of the significant changes I've seen, not just in basketball, but all sports. And it's benefited the athletes greatly and the overall athleticism. And then from a playing standpoint or on the floor standpoint, I think the three-point shot. I think that's been the biggest dramatic change in the game. The Lakers with the ball. Following the score by Houston, they set the screen. Stolen by Tucker. He kicks to Harden. Now, here's Tucker. He's guarded closely. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. And the Lakers breathe a sigh of relief this summer, retaining their lottery pick that had a greater than 50-50 chance of falling to the 76ers. And you know what, Kevin? That's a huge boost for the franchise, drafting Lonzo Ball. They kept their pick, but that means they will lose their 2018 pick. No upside to losing games this season. They're going all in. Shooting two. That's good from Tucker. And Clark, this Houston team is so good at moving the ball around. Top three in assists last season. And they know how to get a good shot. There's no doubt about that. Just keeping the defense following the ball, moving them side to side, keeping them on the move. How does that affect team chemistry? I think it does wonders for team chemistry, Kevin, because everybody's happy. They're enjoying touching the ball, getting shots, playing at a fast pace. It's certainly fun for us to watch and for the fans to watch. And I think it helps to recruit other good players who enjoy watching that style and wanting to be part of it. Now here's Curry. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Just doing the job on the backboard. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And you know, they look strong here in the early going. Now Clarkson after Eric Gordon's three-pointer that didn't go. Nance a screen on Hart. Berea kicks to Nance. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And Berea plays with a lot of confidence in the pick and roll. Very crafty and shifty, slashing and slicing the defense to pieces with his ball handling and passing. It was beautiful the first time, but Under Armour showing us the replay of that tremendous alley-oop again. Another unleashed chaos moment. Here's Mbamute. Larry Nance making his last shot. Back to Mbamute. The Rockets with another miss. Lakers trail by five. Clarkson with the ball. 12 points his last outing. Nance outside, and he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. <laughs> he just bangs down the one hand. Mm, two very easy points right here. He'll take those all day long. Now, here is Harden. He's coming off a 28-point game against Washington. Here's Gordon. The teardrop falls in. And the Rockets lead by five. And Gordon doing a nice job measuring these inside shots well. I mean, has a solid, quick release pretty much from anywhere on the floor. And Curry has it in the corner. Trills the three-pointer. Curry's got himself on the board with three there. How on earth did they let him get that wide open? Harden dishes to Black. On the wing, Eric Gordon. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Good quickness on the catch and shoot. Gordon giving the defense no time to react off the pass. Clarkson passes to Kerr. The dish to Berea. Pass to Zubat. Missile on the play. Bucket's good. He'll go to the line. 
how about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agendas. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. free throw no good well you look at the Lakers as an organization and we know historically one of the great sports organizations in any sport the reputation though has been slipping a bit in recent years the front office moved last season bringing what they hope will be some stability and certainly a bit more prestige to the team the Lakers trail Here's Berea. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Curry kicks to Clarkson. Rockets six. Goes up at the stripe. Rockets with the rebound. And when you look at the Lakers' new front office, do you think it'll be an improvement? Time will tell, Kevin. I think that's hard to predict. The pieces certainly lean towards success, but it's a hard job. Certainly there's more credibility now. I don't think there's any question about that. They set the pick. Nans a screen. And here's Berea outside. No good. Shot missing. And so the first quarter is in the books. Rockets lead by four. We'll be back shortly live from Houston, Texas. And earlier, Chris Paul told us about the depth of their roster. So important for any team. Our bench is amazing. It's so exciting because when our bench comes in, uh, more often than not, if we're losing, they're going to get us the lead. And if we have the lead, they're going to increase the lead. And it's, it's fun to watch because everybody cheers for each other, too. When your starters feel that good about their second unit, guys, that's a heck of a asset that a team can have. And if you've seen Chris Paul cheering from the bench, you know that it's very, very true. And Kevin, that's the kind of team that, that's always been so much fun to play on. Everybody's really pulling for one another, no matter who's playing. E even in practice, uh, with that kind of a team, you, you tend to have more fun. And we're getting back to the action in our New Year's Eve broadcast. And looking at what we've seen from Houston, what do you guys think? Yeah, it didn't take them long to get that transition game going. Yeah, exactly. Right from the start, Greg, they were looking to get out and run, sprinting to their opportunities. Harden and Gordon teaming up in the backcourt. E.J. Tucker is out there with Williams. And it's Black in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. Man's a screen. Berea dishes to Kerr. Kicks to Nance. Curry against Williams. That's good. The Houston lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from Curry. Great job of utilizing that screen and finding space to knock down the jumper. Good basketball. There's the screen. Harden kicks to Williams. Pass to Black. And it's good assisting on the play was Williams. Black's got eight. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Here's Berea. Harden with the defensive effort. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And, guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamour stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. He used that pick just right. And it's seven points for Eric Gordon. 
And Gordon is a clever guy now. I mean, he knows where to be when the screen is set. Good job reading the defense. Maria, the pass to Clarkson. Nance outside. Clarkson kicks to Kurt. Zubats with it. Working on Black. Zubats no good. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Not much else you can do there. I mean, that's what you want. Too bad they weren't able to finish it off. Now here's Williams. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. Nine. Kicks it out to Gordon. There's the pick. It's stolen by Nance. Clarkson against Gordon. The shot by Clarkson, no good. Houston's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Harden kicks to Williams. Back to Harden. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. And it's an 11-point rocket lead. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. And their defense practically non-existent in that one. Just gave up far too many easy shots. Yeah, I think they were totally checked out, Greg. At least that's what it looked like. When you play that kind of defense, you expect to lose. Clark Houston making some changes. Nene, he's checked in for Tark Black. Anderson comes in for P.J. Tucker. And Paul subbed in for James Harden. Now here's Ennis. Screen by Bogut. Here's Paul. That one's off. Still out of sync. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. That one good for two. And the Rockets lead by 13. And he's so aggressive offensively. I like his assertiveness. CP3 not taking one second extra to pull the trigger once he gets the pass. Now, here's Ball. Count it. His second make in four attempts. Resplendent release on the floater. When executed correctly, it's a beautiful, effective shot. Gordon dishes to Paul, feeds it to Williams. Anderson the screen. Right side, Gordon. Anderson with the screen for Gordon. Down to five on the shot clock. Williams gets the bucket. Very well executed pick to give him all kinds of space to get that one off. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Ball. It's good. The assist that time for Menace. And that's now seven points for Lonzo Ball. Yeah, you know, it's a quirky release. There's no denying that. But he's a reliable shooter and scorer from the perimeter. Lonzo Ball making it happen. And it's Gordon missing. Lakers trail by 11. Now, here's Ball. Seven points in the game. Pass to Kuzma for the three. It's hauled in by Gordon. Rockets have gone six of eight from the field in the second quarter. Ball left side. Lays it up off the glass. Paul's got four points in the quarter. No problem at all operating in the paint for Chris Paul. He shoots an excellent percentage even down there amongst the trees. Now here's Ennis looking for his first basket still in this one. Bogut with a screen on Paul. That shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one, Greg. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Paul with the ball, now guarded by Ennis. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Time out, time out. He's really starting to ramp it up now, getting involved Pardon. in the offense here after being held without a point in the first. And the Lakers call time here. Trevor Ariza's checked in for Troy Williams. And the Lakers also making a switch. Barnes has checked in. Lakers trail by 16. 
Well, Greg, Houston wanted Chris Paul, and they got their man. One of the bigger surprises, certainly, of the offseason. Yeah, and without Paul on this roster, this team isn't in the conversation for winning. You, you need him to keep your window of winning open, and he is just that impactful and makes everyone on the floor better. Now Nene, after the missed three from Kentavious Caldwell-Pope. Paul left side. Ariza has the open look. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Ariza's got eight points. And Ariza has great confidence in his shot. A dynamite catch-and-shoot player. There's the pass to Kuzma. Screened by Bogut. The feed to Caldwell Pope. Over Gordon. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Boy, he has been cold for a while now. Yeah, he has been. And he's got to find his stroke because he's holding back his team as a result of his poor shooting. Now here's Ariza. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin in the game. You know, he really just tried to do a little too much there. He shouldn't be afraid to kick that one back out. Kuzma passes the ball. Caldwell Pope kicks to Bogut. And stolen by Gordon. He feeds it to Paul. It's Ariza on the wing. And another three for Houston. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Well, I think they're getting caught in that in-between zone, no man's land, giving up three straight from beyond the arc right now. Now, here's Bogut. He's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. And, you know, such a balanced athlete. Bogut able to absorb the hit, make it, and get the end one. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Houston. They've been making some really nice passes out there. Excellent passing. That could set the tone for the rest of the game. And also, they've gotten the three-pointer to fall tonight as well. That's equally as important. The Rockets making a switch here. And Baamute's checked in. Shooting one. On the free throw, no good. Well, Clark, we know one thing. You are a connoisseur of scoring in the post. Which players, in your opinion, do you love to watch go to work on the block? I tell you, DeMarcus Cousins is really good down there. He's got all of the tricks, and he's got size and great footwork. Pretty decent um, athleticism as well. Carl Anthony Towns, very proficient. But again, I go back to my man, Zach Randolph. I mean, he's close to the ground. He's a lefty. And uh, Zebo just gets it done in a way that I enjoy. 12 straight points off of three-pointers, and the D looks shell-shocked. And, guys, now that they're rolling from out there, the defense has to really get up into them. You've got to almost be in their jerseys to try to deny those looks. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that combination of power and polish. Here's Gordon following the bucket by the Lakers. Just four to shoot. From deep. The shot will not fall. And the Lakers take it the other way. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Minnesota where they'll take on the Timberwolves. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope, looking to get his guys going when they're open. Now here's Gordon. We saw him with 19 points his last outing. Screen by Baamute. And it's Gordon missing. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Aldwell Pope dishes the ball. Here's the screen. Screen by Bogut. Takes the three. Ball no good. 
And we haven't seen them get to the line as much here in the second quarter. They might be settling a tad too much offensively. I, I think you're right. I mean, an up fake here or there, getting the ball inside, that's how you create high percentage offense. Al Gordon following the miss by Lonzo Ball from deep. Houston needs to get a shot off. Mba Abute, the Rockets with another miss. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think they need to continue to press that advantage. They've got to get back to that. Don't go away from that. It's been working so well for them. Stay with it. To the inside and going out of bounds. Last touch by Barnes. And looking back at last season, here's a look at the three-point and two-point shot attempt averages for the Rockets. And they were focused on spreading the floor and getting good looks from three-point range. That, that was the key to their offense. They put in a lot of work on the perimeter. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. Torek Black comes in for Nene. And it's Harden in for Eric Gordon. That's tipped. It's stolen by Berea. And now Clarkson pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Now that's how to finish the break. Throw down with force. On the fast break, Clarkson, like a gazelle. Nobody can stop him. Berea against Paul. Shoots over Berea. And that one goes long. Yeah, that's just poor decision making. Hey, he's got to be better in those situations. Greg, I just think he was in a hurry. He flat out rushed it. I mean, I don't know what he was thinking there. He actually was in a brain neutral position. Now, here's Clarkson following the shot by Chris Paul. Clock at four. Jumper off the screen. A shot by Clarkson, no good. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double digit advantage on the scoreboard. Uh, they've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Now Berea, nine points, last game out. There's the pick. Barnes outside. Fires for three. That misses, would have counted had it gone in. And so it's Houston, feeling good about their 17-point lead heading into the break. Their work from beyond the arc has been a highlight. A lot of threes finding the bottom of the bucket. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Boy, what a crowd joining us here for our Halftime Report. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel Shaquille O'Neal. Houston found themselves in a close game in the first. They were on a nice little roll in that opening period as they got their lead up as high as seven points. They just exploded in the second quarter, grabbing the momentum and running with it basket after basket, and they played stingy defense. Now they've got a halftime lead that's going to be very difficult to erase. Kenny, what do you think about the Rockets? They looked like they were playing an easy game of pitch and catch out there. The playmakers and finishers were in sync on every level. The assist disparity, now that was big. Now that's the reason why it's a blowout right now, and they play well. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Lakers? They rely way too heavily on three-point shot in the first half. Their long-range game was off. That's my off sound, Ernie. They were off. But they still settle for the outside shots. They got to put more pressure on the defense by pounding it inside and attacking the basket. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Welcome back, everyone, to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. Without question, Trevor Ariza displaying his skills today. His points production thus far off the charts. It's only been two quarters. Just a great effort for him for the entire half. Yeah, and it doesn't matter where he is on the floor either, Greg. He's making it look very easy. He's looking to score the ball. We're getting back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far. We'll see if that changes here in the third. Lakers trail by 17. 
And you watch the way the Rockets play, Clark. A little bit of seven seconds or less, certainly from their coach, Mike D'Antoni. Green lights to shoot from anywhere. Just attractive basketball. A lot of fun to watch. Uh, Clark, just how much fun is it to play in a team like that? Well, I would think it would be the ideal way to play. Everybody's sharing the ball. There's plenty of possessions and opportunities. It's up and down trend. I mean, I think it's the way the game is intended to be played. And there's a reason why Houston has done a great job of signing players the last few seasons, and part of it is their style and the chemistry the team seems to have in playing the way they do. Starting off the second half, here's Luke Walton's five. Ball runs point with Contavious Caldwell Pope to his side. There, the backcourt. Then it's Bogut. Then there's Harrison Barnes. And it's Kuzma in at the four spot. And here's Harden. Harrison Barnes getting it to go from deep. Harden the pass to a reason. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got five assists tonight. He must stay with the reason when the screen is being set, Kevin. I mean, he knows how to capitalize in these situations. Caldwell Pope kicks the ball. Over in the corner, Caldwell Pope. Lakers working the ball around now. There's the pick. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Let's a floater go. Harden, that's good. Harden's got 11 points. Incredible control on that floater. Harden is fantastic at putting just the right amount of touch on these very difficult and delicate shots. And that replay presented by Under Armour showing us the fantastic steal that led to that fast break finish. Another Unleash Chaos moment. Boga with a screen on Paul. And again, Los Angeles with a triple. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. Dishes to Ariza. Pass to Anderson. Back to Paul. Harden against Caldwell Pope. Anderson with a screen for Harden. Jacks up a three. And there's Ariza. That's good on the assist from Harden. 17 points for Ariza. And I think they're winning because of him. I mean, he's hitting a lot of his shots right now. The dish to Bogut. Second shot opportunity. And he lays it up and in. A nice start to the second half. Just one miss in their first five attempts. Rockets leading by 15. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Beyond the arc. Ariza with another miss. Lakers have gotten four of their first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. Ball, the pass to Kuzma. And the bucket counts. Three-point chance here. And the shooting has really been there for him today. But he may have to take it upon himself to continue to carry this team and try and get out of this hole. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve. But he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. And guys, it's something that he's going to have to work on more and more because he's still not getting the kind of shooting percentage he would like from the line. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for the Rockets. Well, the Lakers last season, the worst defensive team in the NBA. Again, offense was a little bit better. Uh, Clark, what's the key for them offensively? Well, I think a couple of things. One, ball movement, utilizing everybody. Uh, last season, they were bottom five in assists, top five in turnovers. And that ratio, those numbers, not conducive to good offense. Now, here's Bogut over Nene. It'll go. The Rocket lead is cut down to just 10 points on the bucket from Bogut. And comfortably squaring up from the mid-range there. Nice touch by Bogut. Now here's Tucker covered by Barnes. Nene with the screen on Bogut. Tucker dishes to Harden. Kicks it to Anderson. It's Harden with the drive. Caldwell Pope with some nice D. Lakers trail by 10. And here is Ball. He's got nine. He dishes it to Caldwell Pope. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And when Ball has the ball, it's in good hands. 
He can run the offense, no doubt. Ball with the ball, now guarded by Ball. Ball, a screen on Caldwell Pope. The three from Harden. The Rockets again can't hit. Yeah, but the defense was determined not to give him an inch of free space. Nene with the screen on Caldwell Pope. Harden down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. And you can sense them just starting to squeeze and shrink this lead a little bit. Yeah, the game has a bit of a different texture than it did just a little bit ago, Greg. Suddenly, that lead is not looking as comfy and cozy as it once did. They set the pick. Caldwell Pope kicks to Bogut. Terrific design on the pick play, and he lays it in. Bogut's got eight points. Here is Harden, 13 points in the game. Anderson the screen. Now here's Tucker. Defense right on him. From deep Harden. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. He had one in the first as well. He can be dangerous. Keep an eye on him. Timeout called the Lakers. Well, you take a look at this Houston Rockets offense. They've got so many threats. And Harden is clearly the big one. He's in the middle of it all. And his teammates do a nice job of playing off of him. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. Troy Williams checked in for Nene. And Eric Gordon subbed in for Chris Paul. Now here's Nance. And it's Ennis, top of the key. Stolen by Harden. It's stolen by Ennis. Shakes off the strong D and gets the bucket for two. Ennis has got his first two points. Rockets leading by eight. And Clark, so much of the offensive burden has fallen on the shoulders of Harden. Now he's got some help, certainly, with Chris Paul. You know what? As well as Harden played last season at the point guard spot, I think this trade was just too good to pass up. I mean, I anticipate they're going to make one heck of a duo. Shot clock at two from deep Harden. And another three for Houston. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Outside Curry. Nance sets a screen for Caldwell Pope. Stolen by Tucker. And now here comes Gordon leading the break. All right, a chance to check out stats for Hart. Just an incredible month of basketball. First in scoring, and he's in the top five in assists per game as well. He sees the floor and makes the game easier for his teammates. And his scoring abilities are just so far out of sight. Number one overall right now. No one's been able to slow him down or even come close. First one falls for him. Well, for the majority of his career, Clark, Eric Gordon has been a starter. But last year, in his first year with the Houston Rockets, they deployed him as a sixth man, and he flourished in that role. Yeah, you know, he sure did. And some guys just have a knack for thriving in that role coming off the bench. He knew he had the green light coming off the bench and jacking up threes. That's what he was called to do. And even though he played less minutes, he still obliterated his previous career high of three-pointers taken. Curry kicks to Caldwell Pope. Six on the shot clock. Bucket is good. Caldwell Pope's got ten points. And part of an overall effort for Contavious going for higher percentage shots. That time working inside. Shot by Gordon wide open. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Lakers trail by 11. Caldwell Pope outside. He kicks to Ennis. Nance a screen on Hart. Back to Curry. The three. It's good. The assist that time for Ennis. Curry's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for Los Angeles. Harden sets the pick for Gordon. Here's the screen. On the wing, Williams. 
And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Williams has got his second bucket of the night. Gordon against Curry. Ennis kicks to Nance. Caldwell Poe passes to Nance. Lakers passing it around. Here's Ennis. It's rebounded by Houston. 22 is their biggest lead. They get to take on the Magic at Orlando after this one. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Outside Williams, back to Gordon. A floater. That one doesn't go. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Curry kicks to Nance, passes it to Ennis. Caldwell Pope outside. Back to Ennis. Curry against Gordon. Right wing. Here's Ennis. And not sure what he was thinking there. Houston leading by 11. Harden outside. In the corner, it's Gordon. And Tucker kicks to Harden. There's a good screen. Back to Tucker. A three ball. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got his seventh assist here tonight. you got to respect and you can't sleep on the passing ability of Harden. Love how he zips it over to open teammates. Los Angeles calls timeout. And the Lakers, Greg, for a long time could rely on the lure of Los Angeles to draw top free agents. History does a lot, it seems. Yeah, Paul George listing them on his short list shows they still have that pull, but the Lakers will be big players in free agency, I believe, in the near future. And Bahamute's checked in for the Rockets. Riza comes in for Troy Williams. The Lakers also changing it up. Barnes, he's checked in for Zubox. Clarkson comes in for Caldwell Pope. And Berea subbed in for Tyler Ennis. Houston leading by 14. Outside Gordon feeds it to Harden. On the wing, and again, the Rockets good for two. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Now here's Nance. Here's Clarkson. No good, and they can't put an end to this drought. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. Now we get a chance to view the NBA's best setup man. Fourth, James Harden. His passing has been so terrific. You can see his unselfishness really rubbing off on the rest of the team. Lakers trail by 16. 130 left in the third. Nance Screena and Baamute. Here's Curry. Great use of the pick to create room for the jumper. Curry's got 10 points. Great job of utilizing that screen and finding space to knock down the jumper. Good basketball. And Baamute kicks to Ariza. In the corner, it's Gordon. They set the pick and stolen by Barnes. There's 57 seconds left here in the third quarter. Here's Clarkson. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And a look here at the shot chart for Harden. And the way they have been shooting from deep, boy, that's been impressive. Talk about making the most of your opportunities. This game would look very different if they weren't dialed in from deep. As it stands, however, they are in control, and the defense has to adjust to how they defend beyond the arc. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And Clark Jordan Clarkson, a second rounder out of Missouri. He's got some offensive talent. Yes, he does. I love his game. He's solid as a jump shooter. He's athletic. 
um, can make plays for others. His defense continues to get better. Uh, he brings a lot to the table. I like this young man's game a lot. And both free throws good for Clarkson. Really a good free throw shooter. You'd like to see Clarkson get to the line even more because of that. Gordon dishes to Black. Gordon a screen. Black the pass to Harden. Over in the corner, Emba Amute. They grab their own miss. Black. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Uh, I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it, Greg. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. And he knocks down the first one. Luke Walton is the 26th coach in Lakers history, and it was love at first sight for the Lakers. I mean, after one interview with the team and the top brass, the other interviews were all canceled, and the dream job was his for the taking, and I think he's going to turn out to be quite a good coach in the NBA. And that's good as he hits both of his shots, and he called it his dream job. But a lot of risk for Luke Walton, certainly in Los Angeles. The Lakers had just gone through the worst season in franchise history. Yeah, and, you know, not to mention the unrest in the front office, Kevin. In the end, though, for Luke, it was just too good an opportunity to pass up. He's a SoCal guy. He won rings in L.A., and it wasn't the safe move, but sometimes the best moves require some risk, and it was where he wanted to be. Ariza kicks to Amba Amute. Curry with the steal. From deep. Can't connect. And so it's the Houston Rockets with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. Right back after this break. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. Rockets leading by 14. Gordon and Ariza are on the wings. Luke and Bahamute out there with Nene. And it's Paul in at the one spot. That's the five for Houston right now. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, That'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half, and that's taking care of business, fellas. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Rockets. So far, they've turned in a fantastic performance from the three-point line. It's been a weapon all game. And you've always heard of guys being in a zone shooting, but you can be in a zone passing the basketball, and we've seen that tonight as well. Two, two. First one falls for him. He doesn't get the second one. Lakers trail by 15. Barnes outside. It's good from long range. Boy, you got to respect the long range accuracy of Barnes now. When he gets a little daylight, he's dangerous from the perimeter. Gordon dishes to Paul. Wing shot on the way. And that one comes up a bit short. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Ariza against Barnes. Here's Kuzma. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. And you know, Barnes is a really good all-around talent, a skilled passer for a guy his size. Paul gets to a reason. 
Manet up top. Paul outside. Takes a three. A three-pointer is right on target. And the Rockets lead by 13. And when you're down this many points, hard to justify leaving a good shooter that wide open. Well, you know what, Greg? To me, it looks like they've packed it in and just kind of given up. Now, here's Clarkson. 13 feet away. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And how about the 46th pick back in the 14 draft? Jordan Clarkson has certainly exceeded expectations thus far in his career. An athletic combo guard, he's really succeeded playing at both the one and two. Now, gentlemen, two shots, two shots. Free throw good, Clarkson. And Greg, Jordan Clarkson, uh, he has an offensive game, doesn't he? Uh, he's able to shoot with range, and he can attack off the bounce as well. I think that enables him to kind of play on or off the ball. And I, and I think he has a chance to be a, a really good two-way player in our league. Anderson, he's checked in for Mbaumute. And both free throws good for Clarkson. Fourth quarter now, we're about a minute and a half in. Paul passes to Nene. Now the feed to Gordon. Paul against Berea. Here's Ariza. That three off the mark. Lakers trail by 11. Out to the wing from deep. Offensive rebound. Bogut. And it's blocked. Ariza against Barnes. Here's Nene. Rebounded by Bogut. Bogut's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Berea kicks to Clarkson. Three-pointer. Second-chance shot. Kuzma off the mark. Had a chance to trim it to single digits. Rockets leading by 11. To the middle. And Nene with the basket on the assist by Paul. Boy, the floor awareness of Chris Paul. Got to respect that. I mean, whenever one of his guys is open, he's getting the ball to him quickly and on time. Now, here's Clarkson. Here's Barnes. Los Angeles with another miss. Seems like he's in a hurry. He's kind of rushing his shot. Clearly out of rhythm right now. That's a big reason why they're losing. Tell you what, it does not matter who's shooting. The defense has got to be better at getting a hand up on long-range shooters. You've got to challenge the shot. And here is Barnes after Trevor Ariza just hit the three. There's a screen. Pass to Kuzma from the arc. Rockets with the rebound. Nene's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Ariza dishes to Paul. Back to Ariza. The baseline J. Rebounded by the Lakers. Bogut's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Kuzma, that's good. And he's finally getting the feel from beyond. His second three of the half right there. Anderson outside. Gordon the pass to Nene. Back to Gordon. Anderson the screen. Shot clock at six. And it's Gordon missing. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Ariza against Barnes. And the pass to Kuzma. There's the pick. He feeds it to Clarkson. No good on the triple. And another miss. Oof. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. They get the rebound. Nene misses the layup. Well, at best, the defense was average. I mean, he must make sure to finish these layups. Got to make those. And sometimes when you want something done, 
you got to do it yourself. That dunks the shot in the arm they need to really cut into that lead. Well, Greg, it's certainly got everybody on their bench up and off their seats and cheering. Yeah, that could be an instant momentum shift. That certainly was a rim wrecker. So it's the Rockets now after the basket by Los Angeles. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got five assists in the game. Look at the intensity of Nene, one of the strongest guys in the game. Phenomenal at scoring the ball inside. Now here's Berea. Nobody near Barnes. Knocks down the three ball. Barnes has got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Lakers. And Jordan Clarkson is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And really a tough break for the D. Greg, no problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Caldwell Pope comes in for Jordan Clarkson. And Ball subbed in for J.J. Barea. Now here's Gordon. Anderson the screen. Paul kicks to Anderson. Gordon with it. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. Scooped up. Frozen. Guy is just ice cold, unable to contribute offensively. Dishes it to Ball. Pass to Kuzma. Lakers passing it around. Kicks it to Ball. Launches it. Ariza with the rebound. Well, I think the defense got really lucky there. I mean, you can't afford to give up wide open shots from deep. The shot's good from Paul. You know, the defense has to be conscious of his playmaking, so a lot of times that gives Chris Paul plenty of room to get off the three-point shot. And here is Ball following the three from Chris Paul. Screen by Bogut. Ball with it. From deep. The rebound by Anderson. Anderson's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Ball with the ball. Now guarded by Ball. Nene, the screen. Gordon dishes to Nene. He kicks it to Ariza. Nene setting the pick for Ariza. Here's the floater. Nice D from Bogut. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Kuzma passes the ball. Inside, stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. The drive by Gordon. Over Caldwell Pope, and it's Gordon missing. Lakers trail by 13. Ball kicks to Barnes over a reason. Los Angeles with another miss. Houston's gone three or four from downtown here in the fourth. Paul outside to the middle. Here's Nene and Nene with the stuff. Chris Paul is a flat out playmaker, guys. Straight up. Knows exactly where to go with the ball most every time. Ball kicks to Bogut. To the paint and stolen by Gordon. Over Caldwell Pope. The kick out to Anderson. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. Man, you love the effort. Just getting the hand in there and knocking it out. Really came close to the pilfer, but they'll take that effort. Mucking things up is sometimes just as good as a steal. And the Rockets making a change here. Harden's checked in. Tries a three off the inbound. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Ball dishes to Caldwell Pope. Passes it to Bogut. Here's Kuzma. Feeds the ball. Trying to get back on track. Drills the three-pointer. Kuzma's got 14 points here in the second half. And that's how you answer back. Exactly, Greg. I mean, go right back at him. Show him you can shoot from outside all night long. Now here's Harden. A shot by Ariza. And that one hits back iron. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Caldwell Pope kicks the ball. Caldwell Pope passes the ball. They set the pick. Six on the shot clock. 
Caldwell Pope against Anderson. That shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Yeah, and the height disadvantage there forced him into a really tough shot. Tried to fade away, but just couldn't pull it off. Now here's Anderson. Ariza outside. Here's Nene, and it's sent back by Bogut. And with that condor-like wingspan, Bogut says, uh-uh. Kuzma can't get it to go. Yeah, that's just poor decision-making. Hey, he's got to be better in those situations. Greg, I just think he was in a hurry. He flat-out rushed it. I mean, I don't know what he was thinking there. He actually was in a brain-neutral position. That was some slick passing from Harden on that one. Lakers trail by 17. Ball kicks to Caldwell Pope. On the wing, Barnes. And the dunk by Barnes. Hey, and Barnes not playing around when he gets near the bucket. When he has the ball deep inside, he's looking to bang it. Ball outside. Out the dish to Anderson. They set the screen. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Yeah, and those illegal screens have, have really become a point of emphasis for the officials. And it seems like they've been more than willing to crack down on those. Makes it tough to get as physical as you'd like to out there. The Lakers shooting at 44%. Pretty reasonable. Here's Kuzma. Rockets with the rebound. If you're a pro, you got to drain that shot. I mean, it doesn't matter who you are. The defense left him wide open. Pros make those. Paul kicks to Anderson. Nene left side. From 12 feet out, again the Rockets score. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Rockets. It was like watching a three-point shooting contest tonight here. And they just didn't seem to let up, whether the last several shots went down or not. Three after three, it just seemed to pay off for them. And you can mark this one down in the W column. It'll mark their 23rd of the season. And they will walk out of here feeling really good about themselves today, guys. A big win over a conference foe they'd split their previous two games with. Greg, they've got one more game left against them, and there's no doubt they'll use this as a jumping-off point to take another game off them later in the year. At least that's the plan. And, you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for James Harden. And the sharing of the sugar, very impressive. I mean, he seemed to know exactly when to get the ball to his teammates. Mark, the current era is so connected to fans through social media. Just how much has that changed the NBA, do you think? I don't think it's just changed the NBA. It's changed our society and culture at large, and it's here to stay. I just like to see people productively and fruitfully use social media. And I would like to see less of the vitriol and hatred that is afforded for people to hide behind with their negative comments. Houston with a big group substitution here. Tarek Black, he's checked in for Nene. And Bahamute comes in for Anderson. Williams, he's checked in for Trevor Ariza. And it's Brown in for Chris Paul. Here's Hart. Poked away. Here is Harden. He dishes it to Brown. Out to the right wing. 103 left in the fourth. Tries a three. No good that time. And it's the Lakers the other way. Now here's Ennis. And he uses the glass on the layup. 46 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Harden sets the pick for Brown. Harden outside. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That's on Andrew Bogut. Phenomenal body control from Harden. Superb at just knifing inside and forcing the defense to whack him.
two and two, gentlemen. That one is off. Larry Nance has checked in for Andrew Bogut. He hits the second from the line. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. There's the pick. Here's Hart. He's guarded by Mbamute. They get it back. And that one is good from Zubats. Boy, I like seeing that toughness on the offensive glass. Did a nice job judging, anticipating where the miss was going, and then putting it back in. Nicely done. Now Brown. So we see the Rockets taking the win here. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Here with James Harden. James, what is it like when you're playing a team that's struggling and you have to keep focused to keep them down? You know what? We look at the bigger picture, and we have one goal at the end of the season. That's to be champion. So uh, we can't play down. Uh, it's the level of our competition. You know, we got to go out there every single night and, uh, you know, be on the same page and try to give 100% effort. It's been a success so far, James. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.